is everybody welcome back to another video so today we are in the content creator beta and we're going to be testing out kate bishop uh, we have her as a six star rank three and we're not using suicides this time so to start this off uh she has a similar mechanic to elsa bloodstone where if you parry you leave the opponent passively stunned for three seconds and there is a 10 second cooldown on that and then the next thing I want to talk about is her arrows. She has four different arrows, the Cryo, the Tranquilizer, the Caltrops, and the Dissolver. She starts with the Cryo, and you cycle through them. If you double tap the block, you go into the next one. And after your special attack, you cycle to the next one. As you can see, from the Cold Snap, we went to the Tranquilizer. So the Cold Snap is, um, you inflict a Cold Snap effect, and if you perform that perfect release before shooting the arrow, uh, you apply a critical cold snap instead, which the damage is increased based on your critical damage rating. And then this was the tranquilize, or this is the tranquilize, which I believe the tranquilize reduces uh, the opponent's defensive ability accuracy. And this is a 40 second tranquilize. And if I hit that perfect release, that was going to be 65. It's plus 25 if you hit the perfect release. And this third one is going to be a new passive, which is Caltrops. So you inflict the opponent with instant bleed damage when they dash forward or dash backwards. But if you hit the perfect release, when they throw a heavy attack, they take double that damage. So if you hit the perfect release, you want to be baiting a lot of heavy attacks to deal most of that damage. But keep in mind, this is instant bleed damage. So if the opponent is bleeding you, they're not going to take that damage. And then this last one is uh, we deal a fragility debuff on them and this increases our critical damage rating which is a good benefit for that call snap and you reduce the opponent's uh, block proficiency by 40 percent and if you hit the perfect release you inflict a non-stacking sunder passive setting the opponent's critical resistance to zero so this is a really good uh, effect for that call snap because you increase your critical damage and then that will increase your cold snap damage so this is, this is perfect. You want to have those uh, both up. And again, you can cycle after your specials. Uh, when you pop a special, you go to the next one. Or you double tap the block, which is a really cool mechanic, to change it for what you want. This is a special two, where we're going to talk about in the next fight. And also, you can select the pre-fight uh, menu from the pre-fight menu, which arrow you want to start with. But keep in mind, this will disable the cycle after your specials. Like, you're going to see, like, in this fight, I start with the fragility arrow. And if I throw specials, it's going to stay that way. So the only way for me to change it is by double tapping the block. Um, so keep that in mind. This could actually be really nice. And here I actually want to talk about the dialed in passives, which are basically the perfect release passives. Uh, so those can go up to two but if you have her at sick 200 it can go up to five it gives you one and then it gives you another one for uh 106 stones so you want to have kate either one sig 100 sig or 200 sig so you can get the, the perfect release bonus from the awaken ability and those basically increase your duration uh from the arrows uh arrow, arrow debuffs uh so this is really nice if you want to stack them up if you can get them to 5, this can increase by 50%, which is really, really good stuff. But keep in mind, if you fail a perfect release, you will lose one instead. So here we got 2, but if I fail the next one, I'm going to go down to 1. And this was my special 2, which as you can see, we already have 2 Contrap effects on the opponent and 2 Fragility debuffs. So the special two, basically, it doubles those effects. Only if you hit the perfect release though. But the good thing about this special two is that the debuff applies through the block. So this could be uh, pretty dangerous if you're fighting her and you don't uh, dex that arrow. Uh, so that special two, yeah, you just apply those two debuffs. And now I wanna show you that you cannot go above two. As you can see, I hit uh, another special two. I had two fragility debuffs, but we did not get a third one because those debuffs cap at two. Uh, to make it a little bit balanced and as you can see we still have the fragility uh, arrow i need to double tap the block if i want to change it which i think i will um just so i can go for the cold snap but i haven't talked about your heavy mechanic as well so when you charge your heavy attack for more than one second your heavy attack is going to push the opponent uh more back against uh the wall and if they're back against the wall 
uh, they are cornered, which makes them throw their specials uh, easier. <laughs> so, especially for that Winter Soldier in Realm of Legends, you know they don't want to throw the specials, but when they have this corner debuff on them, they are more likely to throw them. And also, if you hit them with a heavy and you get them against the wall, you flick them with a two second uh, crush debuff, which basically it's like you're unblockable, you break uh, their block. And then also you refresh your arrow effects, uh, which is honestly really good. It's such an easy way. Uh, so let's take like this heavy. We push her really back against the wall. She's almost in the corner. And now when I hit her with, a, with heavy attacks, I constantly refresh my arrow effects, which is really sick. And this fight is going to be all about the special three, which is a nice one. It actually uh, matters if you hit perfect 20% attack, which not going to lie, uh, when you want to showcase it, it's not as easy. <laughs> so yeah, I did fail it once. Uh, this is, I think, my second try. So as you can see, she's cornered and she's constantly throwing specials. I love it. And this is special three. We hit the perfect bonus. And maybe you can tell, but if you hit the perfect bonus, this counts as a perfect release. So if you don't hit the perfect release, you only get that cruelty passive. But if you hit the perfect release, you get the precision passive as well. And those count as arrow effects. So you can refresh them if the opponent uh, gets hit by heavy attack in the corner. And as you can see, now they are refreshed. So we get a nice cruelty and a nice precision buff, which are really potent as well. And right now I'm gonna go for the fragility uh, passive, so that I can, uh, so the fragility debuffs, so I can increase my critical damage rating and we can see some numbers, uh, even outside the cold snap. Because dude, the cold snap hits super, super hard. I think it was taking for like 4,000 in a fight and with a double cold snap. And then that Caltrops debuff, so good like they take 10,000 uh, damage when they dash in or they throw heavy attacks if you have the perfect release but after we sh showcase this fight i want to go over the first fight and i explain uh, everything that's happening so this is a cold snap debuff unfortunately i had a late release it is a bit tricky to get used to it uh, you need to use uh, kate a lot which i think she's really really fun to use man the only thing is that like, she's not too suicide friendly but she's such a good champ really satisfying to use as well so now we're gonna go for the double caltrops and i love that special too man because you get that passive stun which is really nice for you to like dash in and go for a heavy to refresh and one thing i forgot to mention is that those passives when you parry or after the special two those passive stuns if you hit them twice they go away so this is perfect because you can do one hit and then a heavy attack and boom, they are refreshed. So yeah, we got two cold snaps, we got two fragility debuffs, uh, we got the caltrops and uh, the sunder passive as well. So we are, we are set up and boom, that's it for Captain Marvel. So let's go over the first fight again, just so I can um, go over everything that's happening. So we have this cryo um, effect now, the cryo arrow. Uh, we hit a heavy attack there. As you can see, it pushed him really back against uh, the wall. You always want to have them against the wall so you can just easily refresh your arrows. And this is a special one. We're going to hit the perfect release. Boom, beautiful special one. And now we got a critical cold snap, which it does hit for 15,000, man. <laughs> that is like a 6 to rank 3 without suicides. And keep in mind, we do not have any critical uh, damage multiplier. We don't have the cruelty from the special three and we don't have uh the, the other arrow the fragility arrow which increases our critical damage that is good stuff and by the way now that i'm thinking of it uh the tranquilize arrow if you double it and you get a perfect release it is enough to shut down the opponent's defensibility actually to 100 percent uh which is really sick honestly i did not think of that that's a nice heavy uh stun go for that heavy uh he was crushed so we bypass his block. There we go. Boom. Another uh, perfect release. This is Caltrop. So if he dashes uh, in or dashes backwards, he takes damage. And because we hit the perfect release, we do that. We do damage when he goes for heavy as well. Heavy attack. And now we get a fragility debuff. Uh, we got that Sunder passive. So we reduce the opponent's uh, critical damage to zero. Critical resistance to zero. Sorry. And yeah. 
Like, we're, we're stacking those debuffs up. As you can see, a lot of damage from Caltrops as well. Uh, so yeah, man, that is just great stuff. I don't know if I'm going to decide to go for another special one so that the Cold Snap takes for more. Yep, I am. Because now we got more critical damage. So as you can see, look at the difference. The first one was 1477. And this second one is 2137. So much more damage. It's like 35% more because we have this fragility debuff on him which increases our critical damage and dude i honestly cannot wait to test her as a six to rank four and take her to labyrinth labyrinth or abyss she is such a cool character man like i think i thought viv vision was gonna be my favorite but i feel like kate bishop is is so so fun to use and i knew she's how she's gonna have massive damage from those cold snap effects and the cult drops wow and I love how they make it so easy for you to like um, refresh those effects too. Because they're always going to be in the corner. Which is great stuff. Uh, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think about Kate Bishop. I think she's going to be a sick champion. Even in Battlegrounds, man. Like this critical damage multiplier. You might uh, want to go for like the Fragility Diva first. Uh, with a special 2 so you get double. And then one special 1 with the critical damage Cold Snap. It's going to be game over, I feel like. It's going to tick for like four or 5,000, especially as a 6-star rank 4. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think about Kate Bishop. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.